Hi everyone, today we will demonstrate how to make a portal frame just like this with all the steel structure and steel connection with board and weld and everything in 10 minutes we will try to do this uh, we will call this one and we will start a project from scratch like this one using Dynamo the Dynamo script, I will lift this Dynamo script with a, a working file in the uh, link after I finish this uh, lecture uh, first of all when you receive this you will find this freezed and keep it freezed because we don't want to put the material yet until we put all the dimension of the portal frame it is easy to do it like this if you want to put frame from the beginning it's up to you so I will lift this uh, as a freezed material in the beginning and then we will start to run it when you run it he will give you uh, the center line of the element like this and if we want to change the distance in x and y this is 9 which means 9 meter if I want to make it minus so it will move like this give it 9 it's up to you so it's dependent on the position you want it. This is in y direction. So it's parametric. You can bring it in any place you want. And this is in z direction if you want to make it like this. If you want to lift it up. Like this. Give it zero. And this is a rotation. If you want to make it a rotation like this. A rotation depending on your project keep this here and the nice issue the frame portal frame with 16 meter I suppose the, all this dimension I make it in dynamo in meter it's normally coming in millimeters so I make it in uh, meters do it like this do it like this 22, 16, 17, whatever. And this is a frame height, this distance. I'm to make it 12, which is not logic. Keep it 6. And this is the frame degree, it's 12. Can be normally using this. So if you want to make it 20, it's up to you. Like this. Keep it as a standard. For Kirby, they are using this. The spacing between frame is 6 meter, if you want to make it uh, 12 meter, which is not logic, you can, but this is parametric. Number of the frame is 7, one more number of the frame is 5, it would be like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there is no placing in the middle. But if you make it 7, if you make it 6, you will not make placing in the middle, if you want to make it 7 or 8, he will make one raised element because I make here uh, if statement uh, I make my own if statement code block I don't want to use if statement in dynamo it gives some error you will know this you can take this for any I make it up to six so if it is more than six it will give you like this if it is seven so you can change this number to make it seven more than seven so six will not give you in the middle and so on okay now it is the time to put the material here use this material for rafter for column for berlin for everything i will not i will unfreeze it all in one time you can choose anything you want here and if you want to shoot choose this or this whatever e column you have it you can choose it in the design this is parametric in using material parametric in using dimension parametric in using location this is parametric for everything and then you run it then you will put everything you choose it here in the right place and then thank you for the dynamo I did not save it because it's better to keep it without freeze so you can use it anytime 
that's why I did not see the change on freeze. This one, maybe the connection here will not be good in steel, so we will rotate this, select all instant visible on view, and then we rotate it to 90 degree. This will be better in connection, if it is running like this. In this one also, we should run it 180 degree, so it will be similar to this one. First of all, we will put foundation for each one. Foundation from structure and then isolated, and then we choose it as column, and then we choose the column all in one time. Then it will put this, and we will put the connection now. To put the connection is very easy. Steel, and then connection, and then choose base steel. Base steel, choose the first one. It will be nice. Sometimes it is not appear because it takes time to to load. Then this one is hitting this one. So okay, I can I modify this? Yes, you can do it by clicking this override and then modify instant. And then modify the distance of the anchor instead of 200, make it 180. Then click OK. Then it's OK. If you want to make it 190, it's up to you. And then the nice issue that you can repeat this by a very fine uh, parameter in Revit called Propagate Connection. This is a very good tool. Okay. Then he repeated in every possible place. We'll use this too much. This one called Epix Connection. Click this one, click this one, and then Steel, and then Connection, and from here called Apex connection connection. Then we choose this. It takes time until he calculate how many and everything. You can modify this by the way, like wh what we modify the foundation. Then right click on this one and propagate connection. He will calculate how many since it is blue, which means he is calculating. Okay, and he finish it. This connection called knee connection. So go on steel connection and we use knee. We have so many knees in the project. This knee, which I don't like, but it can be. And another knee, this one, which I like. As a designer, I, I prefer this one, but the other knee you can use it. Then right click and propagate. If it is blue, which means he is calculating. When it's turned to black, which means he finish. Then he can. And then we will do the connection here for breathing. We choose this three one, and then if you don't have the connection here, you can load it from here. If you are the first time you use the steel structure, then you don't have, you will find all this here. Then you choose it all and then add it. For the people who first time to use this one, this is the way. Then you choose this one and steel connection. This one called gusset plate. So gusset plate with two diagonals. Then it will come like this. Maybe this one is a little bit bigger, the bolt, so we will modify it to this one, and modify the bolt to be half inch. Maybe this one is not in the center, so we will use this one to make it in the center, and this one to make it in the center, the other one, so now it will be, looks nice. And then you can propagate, we will not waste time on this one. And this, you can use this also, this two steel connection. But this one, gusset with one plate, the other with gusset with two plates. This one, gusset with one diagonal, like this. And you can propagate, we will not waste time on this. And this Berlin. If the Berlin, this program gives it in center line, but the Berlin should be above this one. 
afterward we're gonna use right click and select on instant visible in view we will give you all the burn because in the dynamo I choose the Berlin only this one I did not mix it with other connection and it should do this also so it will give you selection one time then north <coughs> you can lift it up from the middle of this one and then you go straight up to this one give you unjoin element unjoin element we don't care and then we will give it the direction 12 you remember you choose 12 then it will go like this this one it will be 12 also so what you gonna do what you gonna do what you gonna do you will do like this and then you choose this minus 12 and it will give you in right direction then we go like this and you choose empty space like this and steel structure connection and use this uh, Perlin 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 with seated angle splice angle let's come here we will use it here in this place don't know what happened, we we'll do it again. Curling with seated angle. I don't know what happened. So we will choose steel connection, and then uh, this is the main issue to choose this one. This is why it gives error before and then curling with splice angle then it will give you the connection without error and then we can choose this connection and modify it uh, maybe the the bolt to choose the bolt half inch to be better and the seat bolt also to be half inch to be better and then this distance for a stay plate and rib stiffener rib stiffener you can use it 6 mm it is very big it will be and this distance for the seat uh, this one use it 30 mm so this distance will not be out now it looks nice okay then right click and then uh, propagate it will repeat it in everywhere here in this project it will take time because it is a lot of burn in the project uh, if you like the video you can uh, share it, like it, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, it means a lot of us. And in five minutes, as I promise you, or ten minutes, we finish all this with all connection, with all bolt, with all welded, with everything using Dynamo Script. This project, I will save it, and it will be loaded to my channel after I finish. And all the Dynamo script also will be loaded and downloaded from this. Thank you for watching.